Anyways, what's up? Today I'm going to be going over my new app I just released to the Amazon and Google Play Store called Stack Calculator. And I wanted to give you guys a behind the scenes tour of how I actually built this thing. Now, for those of you that uh, haven't seen it, this is what it looks like right here. Um, it's, a, it's a calculator. It's an RPN calculator. It has these nice buttons right here and uh, has a text view here and you can click on it to change it from a negative to a positive or vice versa there we go, you can you know, add them together and whatnot down here I have a little Google uh, add mob banner and to monetize it a little bit and that's pretty much ha what the app looks like right now and I want to get into how I actually built it so as you see, I'm in Android Studio. This is what I programmed it in. I really like it. I right, I started learning Android programming right as Android Studio came out, and so I started ever since. I know some people use Eclipse, but I've really enjoyed using Android Studio, and it seems to be what everyone's switching to. So I'm glad I started here. So that's what I use, and so... Let's talk about the layout first. So as you see, this is what the layout looks like on the uh, phone right here. Basically, this is uh, the base layout is a relative layout with I have a text view. This is this is a custom view that, uh, but it's basically just a text view, and I'll should get to that later. But what it does is the text size uh, changes depending on how big the how much room there is so I can actually give you an example real quick notice how big the font is for this let's see if I just add more numbers Oops. all right so notice if I add more numbers the fonts getting smaller with each number that way it doesn't look awkward in the screen or cut off and that's all the custom view is doing and um, I'll get I get to have what that looks like later. And this is in this video I'm just doing an overview. If you guys like this, I can get into a little bit more depth of each uh, how the app you know the nitty gritty of how each component works. So I have a text view here at the top. Then I have a ad view at the very bottom, which is the Google ad. And then in the middle I have these buttons. Now these buttons they are sandwiched in between this view and the ad view. The ad view is, uh, it takes up the whole width of the bottom and it's just, uh, it's aligned to the parent of the bottom. And the, uh, number view is aligned to the top and this is a specified height of 125 density pixels. I had this a little differently with my first version, but I switched it because I want this to be a minimum value so it's always a certain height. And so these numbers just fill the space of the screen in between. And how I do that is, so let's take a look at how actually this works. So these rows are a linear layout and then each one of these number rows is another linear layout. So this linear layout is between this uh, custom view and then this add view, and then I have uh, horizontal views, one, two, three, four, and five uh, inside. And for those, I have just four buttons, and they have their each have a weight of one, and so they just fill the uh, weight right here. And then in the uh, code, I have them fill the height of the screen and I'll show how that is done because initially I have them built like a square and if there's enough room I have the, the numbers uh, shaped as a square but th if there's not enough room like on tablets there's just the buttons get too big the width that the height can't uh, it doesn't work as well so they become rectangles, kind of how you see them right here. And so also what you'll notice is this view only works for horizontal. 
and I only made the view for horizontal. I haven't made a view for, uh, or excuse me, this is only a portrait view. I haven't made the horizontal view yet, and right now I'm content with this, and I may go in later and add some more features so they can turn it uh, horizontal, but right now in my manifest file I have it so it can only be portrait. And so that's how my layout is basically made right now. If we go over to the main activity, this is a very simple app, and the it only has one activity. And the right here, I will show you how I did the buttons. So I have a get view tree observer, so I can actually get the width of the buttons. And if you notice, there's five rows, so I'm dividing the I basically want to split up each row into um, equal pieces. Now, I could um, use a weight. If we come over here, I could use for this a weight. For I could give each one of these a weight of one, so they fill up the screen, but uh, vertically, but I did it this way, and what um so how this works is I first get the width of one of these buttons because one of these buttons uh, it'll always have some default width because I have a weight of one, and what I'm doing is I'm setting the height also to equal the width unless the width, is, unless there's not enough room, and in that case, I just divide whatever space there is for the height by five, and I let that equal that. And so that's how this is working, and I'm just setting the layout parameters for that. So that's what this code is doing right here. And right here, I load the ad for the um, ad view, and over here, I'm initializing my stack and my variables and if you don't notice I actually need to set the text let's take a look at the thing you see this has a subscript right here and right here and I have to set that with uh, this HTML so that's how I did that and I'm actually so if you know how an RPM calculator works I'm using a, the stack to keep track of it the stack, stack object to you know, hold the stack, and up here, this is some of my, um, this is the max number that I allow in my calculator, and this is the smallest number, and this is basically just arbitrary. I felt like this was a large enough number that people wanted, and also it gets to the point where the screen gets, the font gets really small, and so I felt like that was a good size. Like, you take a look, oops, you take a look at, this, as the gets smaller, I say I don't want any more than 20 decimal places. Because, I mean, you don't need a lot more. This The number is getting really, really big. And uh, this is what my errors are, division by zero, overflow, when those occur. And um, so that's basically what my onCreate method is just initializing some stuff. Right here, I am setting up Google Analytics. Um, I'm just tracking, you know, people, how many people are using my app. Um, right here, I'm initializing uh, the, um, a basically little pop-up to come up, s telling people that they can make this number negative if they just click here, because that's not exactly intuitive. So I wanted a little pop-up to show up, and you saw that at the beginning of the video. Um, and so yeah, that's what that was doing, and just saving in preferences. And then over here, all these buttons right here, uh, I have on-click methods that do different things, and that's just a program uh, for the how the logic works for the stack calculator. And if you guys want me to get into that, uh, you can just let me know in the comments below. And I can show you how these methods are working, but the video is already getting plenty long, and I just wanted to do a short little overview of how I made this. And so 
that's how the lit works, and this is literally all I have in my code. It's very a simple app. Um, that's how it works, and I did a custom background for these buttons to make them look this color, and yeah, that's how I made this app. Um, if you would like to get it, I'll link it below in the uh, description. It's on the Google Play Store and the Amazon Store. This is my first app. And, yeah, uh, if you have any questions, you can leave um, a comment below, or if there's anything you'd like to see, just l let me know, and I can show you how I did it in my code. Uh, that's pretty much all the files. Oh, yeah, I wanted to go over real quick this. This is how I did my, you see this up here, it's a custom view. And it is right here. This is just some stack overflow code code that I uh, basically got and what it does is you guys can see it right here what it's doing is it's just measuring how much room there is and picking a font size that will fit for that text view space so that's how this works if you guys want to if you can see that so yeah that's how the app works and it's really there's not a lot going on over here if you want to see anything else, let me know. Thanks for watching.